Hi guys, welcome back. So today uh, we are going to do something a little bit different again, but also similar to the last video that we put out about installing and configuring Nessus. So this video, um, like that, instead of going through a machine, we're going to cover another commonly used tool that takes a little bit of setup, and that is going to be Burp Suite. And Burp is an incredible uh, attack proxy. Um, you will definitely use it in your career. There's also um, uh, there's also the Zap proxy that you might use instead, but you know a lot of people are going to use Burp. Um, it does take a little bit of setup to get going though, and to use it most efficiently. So importantly though, we are not going to be uh, going over how to use Burp and really any of the capabilities that it has. We are just going to go over the setup. Um, but because because the setup is one of those things that it takes a little bit of doing, uh, it's not 100% straightforward. And it's not, again, it's not difficult, just like with uh, the Nessus video, it's not difficult at all, but um, you know, it's just one of those things where I can never remember how to do it off the top of my head without referring to my notes. And so, um, you know, if you want something to follow along with, then this can be a great resource for you to show you, how, so show you how to do it. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is, I already got the web browser open, we're obviously gonna need that because burp is a web proxy and then we are going to go ahead and start burp so unlike nessus burp is installed in the default kali image already um so it's obviously in the repositories but you don't even have to get it from there because it is already installed so just go up to the kali menu type burp go ahead and click on it and then it will take a couple of seconds to load here. Um, so I always tell it, you know, now nah, we don't really need to submit any uh, performance feedback right now, but if you want to leave that check, that's fine too. And then click accept. Um, for the Burp Community Edition, as you may already know, uh, it will not allow us to save anything to disk in what it calls a project. So we really don't have a choice on this page. Um, it's just going to be temporary, which means just everything is held in memory. All right, and then use burp defaults. So that's completely fine for what we need. So I'll go ahead and start burp. Now, while that's getting going, we'll or oh, okay, <laughs> as I say, let it get it go in the background, but it didn't want to do that, so that's fine. Um, and since it popped back up, I'll just go over this little uh, deal here real quick. Is just saying that this burp is out of date or this version is out of date. Don't worry about that too much. Um, it's just the version that's installed with this version of Kali, but it's completely fine for what we need. We don't need to worry about updating it or anything like that. So I'll just tell it don't show us again and click OK. All right. So now before we actually get into anything in Burp, honestly, we're not really going to do anything in the Burp interface at all, actually. Um, but we'll just kind of show that it's working at the end. But before we get to that point, what we do need to do all of our configuration in is mostly Firefox. So, or pretty much all Firefox. So to start out with that, we're gonna have our Firefox here and we're gonna go to the Firefox menu. And the first thing we wanna do is install an add-on. So this is not strictly necessary to do, but it is really makes life a lot more convenient when you're using burp and switching between burp and um, unfiltered web access. So to do that, we'll want to install foxy proxy. So go ahead and search for that. It should be the first one that comes up here, uh, foxy proxy standard. Go ahead and add to Firefox and you will see uh, it's asking for some permissions. Go ahead and click add and then you'll see a picture of the great uh, developer here Eric in Colorado and shout out to that guy because this is a really cool extension that is going to make your life a lot easier so um, I don't think we need to run it in private windows so just go ahead and click OK alright and then you can close these tabs go up to your new foxy proxy here click on it go options um, and then in the foxy proxy 
interface, you want to go ahead and click Add. And this is going to allow us to configure a proxy within Firefox. It's This is basically exactly the same thing as what you could do in the Firefox um, settings themselves, but this just allows us to quickly uh, add, it, add it on and off, turn it on and off or switch between different proxies um, very easily. And you'll see that in just a second here. So we're gonna wanna title our new proxy. I always just call it, whoops, burp. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but burp usually makes sense to me. And then the address of our proxy uh, with burp is probably always going to be the localhost 127.0.0.1. Um, the port that burp runs on by default is going to be 8080. You can change that in the burp configuration, but for our purposes, the 8080 is going to be completely fine. All right, and then go ahead and click Save. Uh, now we should be completely done with the Foxy Proxy configuration that we need. So we can close this tab. And then when we come up here to our Foxy Proxy extension again and click on it, we will see that there is this entry for burp. Now there's also this uh, turn off so um, when it's off, then we will just go, so you see we have our intercept on in burp. Um, so it should grab any web requests that we try to send, but because the burp is off um, in Foxy Proxy, it doesn't because it's not sending the traffic through the, the burp proxy. But if we turn it on, then it turns up here to the color that we set it for and the title of burp and now it will but now there's one other thing that we will have to do which is that as you can see when firefox just went straight to the web here and contacted the google server it sent it through https um so if you do that through burp you have to install the burp uh certificates um, the SSL certificates or certificate because if you don't then it's going to give you an error which yeah see uh, it thinks that um, Firefox thinks that something is radically wrong here because there's some sort of man in the middle attack happening or something of that nature and so it's like nope nope this is not good so in order to prevent that warning from happening um, and to let Firefox know what's really going on we just need to go to um, https colon slash slash burp with our foxy proxy set to burp. Now this is gonna give you another warning here to begin with, but that's totally fine. Just go ahead and go advanced and accept the risk and continue. And then it's gonna bring you to this little page here. Now, again, this is where it gets to where it's super easy if you know what you're doing, um, and it's but it's not completely straightforward. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on the CA certificate, click Save File, OK. And then you want to, and trust me, the only reason why I'm remembering how to do all this right off the top of my head is just because I'm looking at my notes as I'm doing it. So um, you want to go to the Firefox menu and go to settings. And then in the little, and trust me, this is a beautiful feature. Firefox didn't used to have this for the longest time. And so you'd have to search through all this stuff manually, but I wish every program had a little search feature like this for the settings because in Firefox, you can just go now and go cert and it should bring up your certificates so go view certificates import and in your recents it should probably have it right here otherwise you just manually navigate to wherever you downloaded it at and it should have the um the burp certificate so go ahead and double click on that bad boy and then trust it and trust it and hit okay and okay 
and then that will import the oops the burp certificate into the firefox certificate database so then you should be good to go so i'll close that out and then google reload and here it is see no no error or anything in firefox it just went straight into burp and here's the here's the google stuff here um so that's pretty much it guys like i said we're not going to go into the the intricacies of what burp can do and and how you would use it and everything um feel free to explore that on your own or um search the web and and find some more resources um regarding that so because the uh the group behind burp actually themselves actually has a free a really good and and free um kind of academy that you can go through and i'll actually just, i'll just go ahead and link that down below in the description if if you want to explore further from this point um to actually learn how to use burp and all the um capabilities that it has but anyway, that being said, like I say, that's that's pretty much it for right now for for here. So the uh, last thing I'll leave you with is if you haven't already, go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. It, it helps me out and it'll help you out because if you, especially if you turn on your notifications, then you will see um, whenever we have a new video coming out. Um, and in the meantime, if there's anything that you really want to see a video done on a particular machine or um, some other you know configuration or setup of a tool or anything like that love definitely let me know down in the comments below um, and i will definitely see about making that happen for you guys and uh, until then just have a good time with your new burp setup and happy hacking